What is going on guys, we're right here And we're doing a career mode, and as you saw it was actually with West Ham, I don't know if you saw that uh, The pretty shit editing right there, but Nonetheless, as you can see we're putting on a world class And we're just getting straight into the gameplay But we're not going to play any games in this episode It's going to be a pretty short episode, this is going to be where we do some transfers And just like get used to the feel of the career mode And the reason why I'm, I've chosen West Ham is One, because uh, I did start a West Ham career mode like on the pre-release, the early access, um, because I was like to my friend, because like, he sports West Ham, and I was like, you know, I might just do a, a West Ham career mode tonight, and just like win the Premier League, and then he was like, <laughs> just laughing, yeah, and then I was like, I went home, you know, played it, and actually did that overhead kick with fucking Andy Carroll, and then I just started enjoying it from there, but then I, I somehow, even though I would have had to start it again, but it did not carry over, so you know, I'm gonna start this one and record it this time, and uh. As you can see, I was do just doing the scout network things. I mean, you yeah, know, it's good. It's, it's not it's not too hard. You know, it's pretty simple scouting network. But sometimes it's hard to find what you want, especially when there's such like a, a crappy scout of only two stars. And uh, yeah, I mean, look, we're looking for a dribbler, attacking minded. We want someone like Santi Cazorla, sort of someone who can, or even Sessignon. We want someone like Sessignon. But in the end, you can see I actually take some of these. I don't know if you see it, but I actually take some of these uh, stat things off. I'm not sure if I cut it out because I cut quite a lot of things out to make this simple. But nonetheless, uh, as you can see, you know. And also, uh, why I'm here because this will probably this one's gonna this video is gonna be out before I get to like the next episode of my uh, F14 uh, Ultimate Team series. And uh, I'm actually on. I actually just sold the team. Like I've I've got, I've got like loads of coins. So I've done a pack opening, well it wasn't really a pack opening, but I've done packs, opens and packs, because I was not getting the season ticket, and I'm going to tell you guys, that, I mean, not the season ticket, the uh, earlier uh, Ultimate Edition. So I, I compensated with that and got some packs instead, so I hope you guys, like, some of my subscribers aren't really pissed off that I'm ruining the, ruining the Road to Glory, I'm not really ruining it. Because, I mean, like, I would have got those packs anyway in the end. But nonetheless, as you can see, we're just having to change this, as you can see. But this is what we're doing now, we're changing some of the things off and it's, it's hard to find what we want, I mean, they're not doing anything and in the end I actually just do go into the transfer market and actually try and buy some players which you will be coming up in about a minute uh, and uh, yeah, I, I did build a team on the Ultimate Team one on the Ultimate Team series but I just sold it now I'm on like 73k and I should be going up to about, I don't know 83k, actually more than 83k Same. It's about uh, 90k, hopefully. But as you can see there, uh, Man United just bought, uh, what's his name? And we can sell Diorara. I also saw Taylor or something, some old left mid. Uh, we did not really need him. Also, we sold some guy called Collings, which is a bald centre back who was on our team. I didn't put that in there because, you know, I could just easily just tell you this. As you can see, we go search for some players now. And this is where we do actually uh, look at some players. As you can see, we're looking at some left mids from the BBVA who are Spanish. And I was looking for uh, some guy. I can't remember what his name was, like Capio or something. But yeah, we couldn't. F I couldn't find him. I don't believe. Don't believe so. But in we actually do go look for some. Uh, uh, look for uh, r just right mids. And I mean, like we even though West Ham have uh, Downing and. Uh, Jarvis, Matt Jarvis, they're, they're good players, but I mean, they're not like brilliant. And I'm about to you on. <sighs> oh, wait, that guys, it's really early in the morning, it's 8 30. Uh, but nonetheless, yeah, they're not they're good players, but they're not that good. So, uh, and also, same Andy Carroll, I want to get a good striker and a good two, uh, a good right wing and a good left wing, so I can support those strikers uh, that want that striker. And that is really like what I want to happen because I want someone, a striker who can header the ball and who can run. Not just one of them who can run and, or one of them that can header. And you see I was looking at O'Burton here and I was thinking maybe he could be good but I don't want to risk it. I would rather buy someone who I can I know is like half decent. But we do have Stuart Downing just in case we don't manage to find a right mid or a right wing or whatever you want to call him. But Stuart Downing is actually pretty good. I, I used him before like in my West Ham career mode and he was pretty good and I'm thinking I'm going to pick up Nathan Dyer for 
the West Ham career mode. I'm not. I'm still not sure yet, but I'm thinking maybe I should just pick him up because he's pretty young and he is pretty cheap. And as you see, look, we're still looking for the right wing in the Premier League, and we're looking at Oxley Chamberlain, but I knew he was going to be too much. We look at um, Delafu. Ver Ver uh, Lamella, who's actually got dropped the three star skills, which is actually a big bit of bullshit. Or on the ultimate team, he's only got three star skills. I don't know about in game, but as you can see, look, we stay on Nathan Dyer there. I was thinking maybe, but no, nope, we're not going to go with him yet. If we do go with him, obviously I'll be telling you, and we'll see uh, Burton again. And, I was, and then I do actually uh, find um, Morales, and I'm thinking about Morales here. And that's that's Jermaine Pennant. I don't go I don't go with Jermaine Pennant, but. Later on in the video, you'll see that I look, I look at Morales, and um, I actually did an inquiry for him, and he, yeah, as you can see right here, I do do an inquiry for him, and I do ask my scout to scout him, and I'm hoping, like, I was hoping that he would only go for, like, I don't know, like, around the 4 million mark, but no, 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 that is not going to happen, as you can see on the screen, I'm pretty sure, yep, you're going to see it in a minute, he goes for, t they want fucking... 20. Wait, is he here? Oh no, this is Rizisky. Oh yeah, Rizisky's actually a pretty good player on Ultimate Team. I've ha I had him, and he's pretty good. And he's gonna be basically the the, the basically a cheap centic as well for us, hopefully. But uh, we go on to Morales inquiry, and they want 21.5 mil. And I'll see if I can afford that. But it's coming to the end of the episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.